Why do some people push through challenges with unstoppable energy, while others struggle to stay motivated? What really drives us to act, persist, and achieve our goals? Today, we're diving deep into the science of motivation, how it works. What is motivation? Motivation is the internal process that initiates, guides, and sustains our behavior. At its core, it answers one question. Why do we do what we do? Scientists generally categorize motivation into two main types, intrinsic and extrinsic. Intrinsic motivation comes from within you. Do something because you genuinely enjoy it or find it meaningful. For example, reading a book because you love the story or practicing music because it feels rewarding. Extrinsic motivation comes from external factors, like rewards, money, recognition, or even avoiding punishment. Both forms play an important role, but the balance between them shapes how sustainable your motivation is. The brain chemistry of motivation behind the scenes, motivation is powered by brain chemistry. The key player, dopamine, often called the reward chemical. But dopamine isn't just about pleasure, it's about anticipation. When your brain predicts a reward, dopamine surges, pushing you to take action. This is why checking your phone or playing video games can feel so addictive. The brain craves that next hit of dopamine. On the flip side, when dopamine pathways are underactive, tasks can feel exhausting and motivation drops. Understanding this helps explain why setting small, achievable goals is so effective. Each success triggers a dopamine boost that keeps you moving forward. The psychology behind motivation, several psychological theories help us understand motivation. One of the most famous is Maslow's hierarchy of needs. At the base are physiological needs like food and shelter, then safety, belonging, esteem, and at the top self-actualization, the drive to reach your full potential. Another powerful framework is self-determination theory. It says we're most motivated when three psychological needs are met, autonomy, or having control over what we do, competence, feeling capable and effective, and relatedness, feeling connected to others. When they're missing, motivation struggles. Why motivation fades? We've all started something with energy, only to lose steam weeks later. Why does this happen? One reason is over-reliance on extrinsic rewards. For example, if you only exercise for a reward, you may quit once the reward stops. Another factor is unrealistic goals. When we set goals that are too ambitious, failure becomes discouraging instead of motivating. Procrastination is another big enemy of motivation. Research shows it's less about laziness and more about emotional regulation. When a task feels overwhelming or unpleasant, the brain avoids it to escape discomfort. How to boost and sustain motivation. So, how do we actually stay motivated? Here are some science-backed strategies. Break big goals into small wins. Each win gives your brain a dopamine reward that keeps momentum going. Connect to intrinsic motivation. Ask yourself, why does this matter to me? Finding personal meaning gives your efforts staying power. Build routines so action becomes automatic. Change your environment. Surround yourself with cues that support your goals. If you want to read more, keep a book on your nightstand instead of your phone. Leverage social support. Sharing goals with friends or joining a community adds accountability and increases your sense of relatedness. By understanding how it really works, you can stop waiting for motivation to appear and start building systems that drive you forward. If you found this video helpful, hit like, drop a comment about what motivates you the most. And Dan T, forget to subscribe to EDU Enviro for more science-backed insights into the world around us. Stay curious.